Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Chronicles chapter or yeah, chapter 31, verse 21. And in every work that he began in the service of the house of God, and in the law, and in the commandments to seek his God, he did it with all his heart and prospered. Okay, so when we do good things, we should remember that God give, gives us the ability to do good to do good things. We cannot be afraid to do good. Yet we need to do good because we want to do good. We have the freedom to choose for ourselves. And we cannot allow others to try and take it from us. But we have to love what we do so that we can defend what we do. If we don't love what we do, it'll be harder for us to defend it. So when we do things, we need to love what we do. So we can defend it with a righteous, calm, civil passion. When we are invited to do the Lord's work, when we are called, we need to be in a position where we can be worthy to have the Spirit of God to be with us, that the Spirit might be able to help us do God's work successfully. It'll be successful according to the will of the Lord. It may not seem successful to us, but God's, perce God's perspective is so much different than our own. And God knows things that we don't, so we need, to, we need to trust in Him, even if our way doesn't come to pass, or our hopes don't come to pass, the Lord knows what is good for us and what will come to pass, and He helps us through Revelation to prepare ourselves that that all things might come to pass in His time. We have the right to do service. We have the right to seek our God and to prosper according to the worthy desires of our hearts. But we also have the responsibility to follow the law and respect the law and to follow the commandments if we choose to. And we have the responsibility to keep our word finish what we start and be honest in all our dealings. We cannot have rights without responsibilities. So in order to uphold our rights we need to fulfill our responsibilities because rights can be taken away if we are not fulfilling the responsibilities that come with them. The atonement is our ability to let go of our sins, but it doesn't give us the right to escape our responsibility from life. Being able to let go of our sins allows us to be able to focus better and do a better job at living life, if we so choose. We don't just get to be lazy and do nothing because the atonement takes away our sins. We are still expected to do good and live well. And that includes acting in faith by going through each day, living it to the fullest, and trying our, base, our best. Satan would have us ignore service, ignore the atonement, and carry our sins as backpacks through life. But we don't need the weights of our sins. We don't have to keep them. We are able to do things with all of our heart because the atonement allows us to take our focus away from our sins. And we can prosper at things when we do them with all of our heart. But it's our choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.